If you're buying crypto, your goal is to probably make as much profit off of your buys as possible. And one way to ensure that you secure big gains is to get into altcoins early. What I mean by early is before the entire world catches on and huge money comes flooding into the market. That's just how the crypto game works. Now all this time I've been saying how Casper is still an early project and I shared some reasons as to why I believe this despite the insane price action we've already seen. But this is about to change very soon. Casper is looking to make a major move and when this happens, it might become too late to call this an early altcoin. We've already seen the first warning signal. And in this video, I'll discuss this in more detail and what to expect as we move forward into the bull cycle. Speaking of early altcoins, in case you missed my previous announcement, I just launched my VIP Discord where you can get access to exclusive early opportunities. Fire Hustle has teamed up with a VC partner and in collaboration, VIP members will be able to invest in early projects before they even launch, even earlier than pre-sale buyers. And as a VIP member, you'll also get notified about my personal portfolio plays, have early access to my content before everyone else, and much more. Check out the link below if you're interested. Welcome back to another episode of Fire Hustle. If this is your first time here, my name is Summer. I talk about all things crypto and share my personal strategies as we take advantage of this bull market. The crypto space changes rapidly, but you can stay up to date by subscribing to the channel and hitting that shiny bell notification button. It also really helps the channel more than you think, and I'd really appreciate it. And as always, please remember that none of this is financial advice. All right, Right, let's take a look at Caspa. So by now you're probably aware of Caspa's performance. This is one of the few altcoins that was able to work against the force of the bear market and we saw the price climb up month after month. And this was even before the entire market began to rally back in October of 2023. Caspa was already up huge compared to when it was launched back in 2022 but the October rally pushed the price up 3x and eventually the all-time high was set at almost 19 cents in February lining up with Bitcoin's upward movement at the time. We've seen a bit of a pullback since then and an overall downward trend over the last month. At this point, we were seeing tons of FUD and everyone crying and trying to jump ship and find the next Caspa. It even dipped back under 12 cents last week and then another climb took place to push the price back into the 14 cent range, which is where it is at at the time of this recording. But it's always natural to wonder what caused this sudden shift in price action and is this just the beginning of a bigger climb? I always end up shifting back to Bitcoin because of how the majority of the market follows its price action. And we did see this major pullback last week for Bitcoin where the price fell down close to 60k. And this is just a week after setting a record high price over 73k. Then we saw this quick recovery towards 70k and of course the sudden fall and climb moved the majority of the market as well. Now comparing the charts, this lines up with Caspa's upward movement. So there's at least partial influence from Bitcoin and the overall market action. But I know that there's a major question on everyone's minds as we head into the next bull cycle. How early Early are we with Caspa? So anyone that bought Caspa in 2022 was definitely early enough to see big gains already. But there are some pretty big reasons to believe that it's still early for Caspa. So for one, this is an altcoin that hasn't been through a bull run yet. Caspa was launched literally at the start of the last bear market right after the 2022 crash. And as a cryptocurrency that hasn't even tasted the bull run push, that's enough reason to believe that we still might be seeing new all-time highs. Now based on past cycles, altcoins end up experiencing incredible new highs. Of course, the extent of this upward movement depends on more than just how new a coin is. Another thing to keep an eye on is exchange listings. Some major exchanges are still missing from the list like Binance, Coinbase, and Crypto.com. So imagine the volume that can come in from these exchanges with their large user base. Now the bull cycle and exchange listings aside, the one critical thing to remember is that Caspa is still in its early stages of development. The team did demonstrate some impressive network speeds of up to 10 blocks per second on their testnet and they plan on applying these speeds to the main net. But even even with high speeds, at the end of the day, this is just a layer one project that can handle fast and cheap transactions. The only use case at the moment would be sending and receiving transactions. That's basically all you need for a money transfer system, but to compete with the likes of Ethereum, there needs to be some sort of layer two aspect to the project with smart contracts and apps. So there was this article posted about the exploration of smart contracts almost a year ago, and since then there haven't been any other updates about smart contracts until now. So earlier this week, the Casper team announced the formation of the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation on their Twitter. This is basically a foundation of members that help support the growth of Caspa through funding. They've already confirmed initial seed funding from Ice River Venture and collaborations with OKX Venture. And this is pretty big news and we can expect some exciting developments from Caspa in the near future. But here's the most exciting part. So if you go onto Caspa's main website at caspa.org under developments, you'll see all of the different items part of their roadmap. Scroll all the way down and they have smart contracts listed here. And 
and it says planning. According to this, smart contract development is at the bottom of their list of priorities, but if you flip over to the new CASPA Foundation website and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see this, smart contracts labeled as development. This is huge because this gives us the first major update regarding smart contract development. So I mentioned this earlier in one of my previous videos that I'd be keeping an eye out for when they switch from planning to development. And now we finally see this. Having smart contract capabilities and layer 2 functionality could take Casper to the next level. There may be some time required for the team to test everything properly and slowly roll out these features, which is why I think we are still early. They've also got another item called Casplex that's in development, which will be their token deployment and management system. There isn't any other information on this yet, but I'll be on the lookout for more updates. So all of this is super exciting and to me this is extremely bullish news, especially as we gear up for the bull run. But it's extremely important to understand the fundamentals of the project as well. So here's a quick refresher of the Casper project and their latest developments. So Casper is a scalable layer one proof of work network and their goal is to be the fastest one out there. The team recently demonstrated a speed of 10 blocks per second on their testnet with a goal to reach 100 at some point. And the plan is to roll this out onto the mainnet over time once testing is complete. This will involve a rewrite of the mainnet on Rust and the team confirmed that this update is already completed and being implemented on the network slowly. Casper makes use of a unique network called BlockDAG. This is designed to be an improvement on the traditional blockchain which is known to exclude orphan blocks and grow along a single linear chain. This creates a huge bottleneck limiting processing speeds while wasting network resources when blocks are orphaned and excluded from the main chain. But a block DAG system overcomes these limitations with a more complex web-like network where each point in the network can be connected to multiple endpoints. This means that all blocks on the network are recorded on the main ledger so no orphan blocks on the network and the result is faster block times and higher transaction speeds without network wastage. So that's a brief overview of how Caspa operates. Of course there's a lot more to talk about but the important thing to keep in mind is that this team has been building through the bear market and we can expect even more progress to take place in the near future with the new funding amounts coming in through the Caspa ecosystem foundation. So I'm definitely bullish on this project and if they can manage to build a solid layer 2 ecosystem Caspa can become one of the top projects all around. This is just my own opinion and not financial advice at all. And that's all folks if you want to stay up to date with Caspa I'll leave all of the important links in the description below and if you want more videos like this please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Remember the crypto space comes with high risk and none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.